Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, um, I want to talk about uh, what happened a little while ago, maybe a week and some change. But uh, earlier this month, the beginning of this month, there was a black sheriff, a.k.a. A cop, who basically took his own life due to the fact that he was depressed about the issues that he saw with the police and, and the police force as a whole, basically their uh, mistreatment of particularly black people. And basically, he made a series of videos talking about it, and basically, uh, he couldn't handle it anymore and basically he took his own life and uh that's unfortunate that's uh very unfortunate uh that that happened and um i'm gonna go deeply into this you know at the end of the day i'm gonna keep stressing this as as black people you know as far as trying to convince you know people that don't look like us that there is unfair and preferential treatment towards people of the same color as primarily most of these officers which is you know no color really uh basically being a clear person versus being a black person at the end of the day most people are in denial they're lying or they just don't give a fuck or it's a mixture of all three of them put together. So we need to fight as a whole. Like I said, the the distance, the separation, and the animosity that we have towards each other is not productive. It's hurting us as a whole. Feminism is not going to help black women when it's all said and done. You are being used. You are being played. And I'm going to do some other videos because I need to basically put some th things out that's going to solidify what I've been saying about black women and how black women are thought of as a whole and on, on TV. So, and I'm going to come with receipts, you know, because like I said, there are some, just like there are a lot of men that are brainwashed, there are a lot of black women that are brainwashed. And some of these black women are being brainwashed by other so-called black women. So, you know, we'll get deep into that. But nevertheless, I'm not going to say the officer's name because I know his family has asked the media to let them grieve and, and, and respect their privacy. But at the end of the day, this isn't a uh, private matter anymore. This is public news. Now, the problem is you have certain media outlets that don't want to cover, cover this. Now, at the end of the day, I will meet the family halfway. I will not say this man's name, you know, but you know who I'm talking about. Um, the sad part about it is that he took his own life. So they say, you know, that's unfortunate because he had children. Now, I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to be a hundo. To me, at the end of the day, by, you know, this, this guy taking his life, they won. The white man won. Um, racism won. White supremacy won. He let them beat him. He could have did a whole bunch of things. He could have reached out to people. He could have talked to us. We would have did whatever we could to help him. If it would have been financially, if it would have been like just trying to provide protection for him. Um, a lot of people would have been willing to do it. But at the end of the day, um, unfortunately, like I said, um, White supremacy got the W because he gave in. And at the same time, he had children and he let his children down. Now his children is going to have to grow up without their father. And then when you kind of look at the situation, you, I don't want to, you know, you know, I don't want to insult the man. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, disrespect his children or his family, but I got to say, to a certain degree, I'm not respecting what he did by taking his own life. This just has to be said. So that's why 
I'm not going to say the man's name. I'm not going to say the man's name, but at the end of the day, I don't respect what he did. How 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 his children is going to grow up and look at their father. Because at the end of the day, he quit on life. He quit on the struggle and he quit on his uh he quit on his children. He quit on his family. And it just has to be said. I hate what he did. I hate what happened to him. But these are the reasons why these brothers, they need to tell their story. If you didn't want to be a policeman anymore, that's fine. But man, you didn't have to like, you didn't have to succumb. You didn't have to submit. You submitted. And that brother gave up. And that's unfortunate. And I feel bad for his children. So that's my thoughts on that on, on the whole thing. Cause like I said, I'm trying to be respectful as possible. But at the end of the day, I gotta tell my truth and how I feel about the situation. Thank you for listening. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.